Ben Graham believed in dividends. Well, I had to show a little individuality in some respect. <laughs> the, um, well, the answer is I do believe in dividends in, in a great many situations, including many of the ones that companies in which we own stock. The test about whether to pay dividends is whether you can con continue to create more than one dollar of value for every dollar you retain. And there are many businesses. Take C's Candy, which we own. C's Candy has paid everything virtually out to us that they've earned because they do not have the ability within C's Candy to use large sums, which they earn, uh, intelligently in their business. So it would be an enormous mistake for C's Candy to retain money. So they distributed Berkshire, and we hope that we move that around in some other area where that dollar becomes worth a dollar ten cents or a dollar twenty cents in terms of present value terms. If we do that, the shareholder, whether they're taxable or whether they're not taxable, whether they're a foundation or whether they're living on income even, they are better off if, if we retain the money because if, in, if they were going to get a dollar in dividends and it became worth a dollar ten or a dollar twenty in market value immediately on a present value basis, uh, they're better off selling a small percentage of their stock and, and realizing uh, the required amount that way, and they will have more money when they get all through doing that than if we paid it in dividends. But if the time comes, uh, and it will come someday, when the, if the time comes when we don't think we can use the money effectively to create more than a dollar of market value per dollar retained, uh, then it should be paid out. And like I say, we do that individually within Berkshire, but because we have this ability to redistribute money uh, in a tax-efficient way within the company, uh, we probably had more, we had more reason to retain all of our earnings. If, if C's Candy were a standalone company, we would simply pay out a lot of the, the, the earnings, practically all of the earnings and dividends, just like we do now, except it goes to Berkshire. It, we like, our, we like the companies in which we have investments to pay to us the money they can't use efficiently in their own business. In some cases, that's 100% of what they earn. In some cases, it's 0% of the earn. We own some stocks that don't pay any dividends. Costco paid a very small. Did they pay any dividend for a while, Charlie? Or, and they, while they were growing very rapidly, they paid no dividend, and finally they are paying one. Berkshire's policy is is much the same. Warren has always planned on paying large dividends out of Berkshire, and he does it in the mode of St. Augustine when he said, God give me chastity, but not yet. Right. I've always admired that. 